Hey, good morning, and happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And today we're going to read our lost story about the leprechaun. I'm sorry, I love doing that Irish uh, accent thing, even though I'm not. I'm part Irish, but I, I'm just making it up, man. And this book is called Clever Tom and the Leprechaun. I have a feeling, though, no matter what he might think, Clever Tom might not be that clever, if you know what I mean. So far, everybody in every leprechaun we book we've read, they all thought they were smart, but the leprechauns got the best of them, right? Clever Tom and the Leprechaun. Clever Tom and the Leprechaun, retold and illustrated by Linda Shute. <clears throat> Clever Tom and the Leprechaun. One fine day on Lady Day in the Harvest, Tom Fitzpatrick took a ramble down the lane. Good, 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 good. He heard through the hedge. So Tom tiptoed closer to take a look. Good, 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 good. Hmm. What's that noise? The clacking sound stopped when Tom peeped through the bushes. And in the shadow, what did he see? <gasps> Why, a big gallon pitcher? and a teeny tiny man with a brown leather apron and a three-cornered hat. Hmm. Up the small man climbed on his wee wooden stool and dipped into his crock. They're calling him a piggin. I never heard of that. Uh, dipped his piggin into the crock. Oh, I guess a piggin is a cup. And this is a crock. Then he settled down with his full mug beside him to hammer on the heel of his very sized shoe. By the powers, thought Tom. It's a leprechaun. If I catch him and scare him, he'll give me his gold. Since I'm a clever fellow, that should be simple. Before the sun sets, I'll have my fortune made. Boy, all these leprechaun hunters are Always looking for an easy fix, huh? Tom stared at the leprechaun and tried not to blink. He knew that if he looked away, the old man would escape. Then he crept up quite near and tipped his hat politely, saying, Good day to your neighbor. Blessings on your work. Thank you kindly, said the small one, but he never looked up. He just kept tapping at the heel of the shoe. Tom moved his hand closer while he smiled very sweetly and said, Today's a holiday. You shouldn't have to work. The leprechaun frowned and answered Tom sharply, If I do, that's my business. In none of your room, instead of pestering me, young man, you ought to be watching your father's fields. Look there. The cows have broken into the oats. See, they're knocking the corn all about. Cows in the cornfield. <gasps> Tom's head started to turn. <gasps> Whoa! But he wasn't fooled by the leprechaun's trick. Quickly he grabbed the sly fellow and cried, Now you're me prisoner. Tell me where is your dog? The leprechaun wiggled and twisted and whined, I'm just a poor man. But Tom held him fast. You and I both know you're lying, said Tom. And he made a fierce, frightening face. Whoa, that is pretty frightening. Finally, the leprechaun quit squirming and said, Tom Fitzpatrick, you're too clever for me. I see you are after my buried treasure, so I'll have to show you where it is. With his eye on the bit, on the bitty man, locked in his fist, Tom followed where the leprechaun led him. He traips over a hill and under some hedges, and through a ditch and across the peat bog, and at last, just when Tom feared he'd been hoodwinked, hoodwinked, oh, oh, tricked, hoodwinked, it means tricked, just when Tom thought, feared he'd been hoodwinked, he found himself in a great field of weeds. Dig there, said the leprechaun, pointing to a bush. Deep under the that bush is where I put my gold. Thunderation, said Tom. 
I need to fetch my shovel. But when I return, I'll be lost. There are 40 acres of weeds here. And each plant looks exactly the same as the other one. Uh-oh. Look, it's right there. His gold is right there. Dig, Tom, dig. Now, if you, Tom, what would you do? Would you go home and get your shovel? Or just start digging? I don't know. See, this is where Tom probably should have just uh, started digging. Still watching the leprechaun, Tom figured out a plan. He tied his bright red garter. Bright red garter. What is a garter? I didn't see a bright red garter. Oh, it's a... Uh, um, it's the thing that holds his pants up. You see it right there? He tucks his pants up under his boots and the, and the garter holds him there. Still, uh, he tied his bright red garter on the bush. Swear, you old rascal, that you won't take this off while I run back to get me spade. Oh, the spade is another word for shovel. He's going to get his shovel. That I will promise you, the little man said. Tom grinned, knowing that leprechauns can never tell a lie. Now, since I have shown you where my treasure is, I don't suppose you need me anymore. No, said Tom. My fortune's made. Give me go and good luck with you. Then goodbye, Tom Fitzpatrick, said the leprechaun. May you do much good with what you find. Hmm. So, Tom was pretty smart. He'll be able to find that bush really easily because... Uh, the le he tied his red garter onto the bush. Good thinking, Tom. Away Tom ran as fast as he could, figuring out how he was going to spend that gold. Then he came with his shovel in his hand back to the field of weeds. Here they don't call it weeds, they call them bullions. Hmm. <sighs> but when he got there, lo and behold, a red garter just like his own, have been tied to every weed in the field. Oh. As far as Tom could see. Now what? Now the gold is there, but the uh, there's another thing that, that bothers me about this story. He never, he never um, made the leprechaun promise he wouldn't just dig up the gold himself and take it. He dug, Tom dug under the bullion uh, weed where he thought he'd left, he tied his garter, but nothing was buried under that bush. And so he dug under another one. He dug under, he dug to the east and he dug to the west and still he found no treasure. The harvest moon rose as he dug to the north and set as he dug southward. You think Tom's going to find that gold? Uh, when the sun came up, Tom saw he dug a hundred holes and the tired Tom Fitzpatrick knew he wouldn't find the gold. So he gave up and he headed for home. Poor Tom. How would you have done it differently if you caught a leprechaun and you and he showed you right where his thing was, but you didn't have a shovel? What would you do differently than Tom Fitzpatrick? From then on, Tom always carried his shovel, and he never stopped listening for a tapping in the field. And every chance he got, he'd tell how he nearly found the gold. And since I'm a clever fellow, Tom would end his tale. The next time I catch that leprechaun, I'll have my fortune made. We believe you, Tom. Woo. Look at look at Tom Fitzpatrick. He's like an old man now. Still hasn't caught the leprechaun. And even if he did, I have a feeling that the leprechaun would trick him. That's the thing about those guys. Super, super tricky.